Hey guys, it's Jeff with JT Drones here with another unboxing video for you. Uh, tonight we're unboxing the Gladius D, uh, drone, underwater drone. I'm sure you guys heard a lot about it. I'm pretty excited about it myself. Uh, this one did come damaged. You can see here it's got a little break in the box here. We'll take a look and see what it looks like. Um, this is the advanced version with the travel case, which I paid extra for, and also has the advanced tether, so or the longer tether, I'm sorry. So we'll see how it looks. But uh, let's get unboxing, shall we? So... Um, just so you guys know, there was a uh, packing label here. I did cut it out because I had my names up on it. Uh, and this label, actually, I thought it was pretty cool. They uh, sent me a little thank you note. Uh, signed by the team. It's pretty cool. Tell me if they have any issues, let them know. So, um, at this point with this unboxing, they have upgraded some of the stuff. I know a lot of you haven't received your shipments yet. But, hey, just remember, you're, you're investing in a product that's designed right now. You're not buying something. So please keep that in mind. Be patient with them as they're shipping these out. Um, I know Stan's been testing a lot of these. Myself, we, I've been on some of the help uh, on, on the admin board. But remember, you it, this is not the final product. So this, this is version 1. They have updated some things since then. I know the uh, buoy had some issues. But I have not had a chance to get this in unboxing. But let's show you guys what's coming in your box. So... Okay, you guys know how much I love foam, so it looks like a pretty good, oh yeah, large stack of foam there. Um, there's my thumbnail again, you can see just how thick that is. Um, thick, thick, thick foam. Uh, again, I know I expressed a few seconds ago concern about the uh, uh, tearing aside, but looking in here, I'm not seeing anything too crazy. As a matter of fact, I'll just go pull that out. There's the tear in the box there. Um, I don't see any damage at all to it. Lots of thick padding everywhere around. This one's about the same size as the uh, DJI foam we saw in the box the other night. Uh, actually, pretty impressed. It's pretty good, especially coming all the way overseas. Very impressive uh, case here. Concerns looking at this first thing right now. I, I am concerned a little about you know saltwater environments. This is not stainless steel by the looks of it. I would be concerned about that uh, rusting and corroding in a saltwater environment. That's just my initial impression, though. Oh goodness, that's heavy. Oh man, yeah, that's pretty heavy. Oh well, you know what? Let's go back to that box for a second. That's the bottom of the packaging there. Again, more thick padding and an extra layer of padding. So, I'll be honest, guys, this shipping box is pretty good. Um, I'm pretty impressed. So, this is the travel case they are selling. Um, it looks like it's got. Yeah, it does have rolling wheels. So we got some rolling wheels on it. It does have a retractable luggage case. Look at that. I'm actually impressed. Cool. Um, carrying halons on the side. Looks like a little... Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, keys. So it's a locking one. Um, so it does lock. You have two locks here. They are unlocked for me, thankfully. Now, so, let's dig in. There it is, guys. That's what you've been waiting for. That is a Gladius submersible drone. Um, more thick padding. All kinds of goodies here. I'm just gonna kind of we'll work our way around. All right. Looks like we got us in a quick start guide. Power supply. And that's always good. Plug for the power supply. This is the American version. Let's see what else we got here. Another plug. Another power supply. So my guess so far is looking at these two, if I'm going to guess, um, power supply for the buoy and a power supply for the actual drone to charge it. Um, so that's that. I'm just guessing. I haven't actually torn into this. Antennas. Uh, this is a hand crank for the uh, buoy here. This looks fancy. Oh, I bet you it's my controller. We're going we're gonna to set that aside. I'm more excited about opening that. So let's, let's set that aside for now. Ah, okay, cool. This says seawater on it. That means this is a balanced weight. You can see the lead in there to help with the buoyancy of the device once it's in the water. Um, I'm sure you guys know uh, some of your physics. You know, things are more buoyant in salt water than they are in fresh water. Um, you know, and you obviously need to compensate that. So it looks like there's going to be a fresh water module and a seawater, as they're calling it, or salt water module for the device. That, that's, uh, that's cool. Uh, that's pretty innovative right there. All right. Look at that, that's a big tether. All right, uh, tethers to here with the buoy. Um, we know about the, the, the handle already. It, it's been discussed uh, a couple times how, how this is very flexible. I can see it now while I'm pulling on it. it. It is pretty flimsy. I can see me breaking that off pretty quick. 
Um, but the new version, I understand they've addressed that, so that, that's not really a concern for me, because um, I know what I'm getting into. Um, let's go and dive into the controller, why not? Nice little felt case here. Alright, so it comes with a USB cable, micro USB, or USB to micro USB. And I know everybody's been talking about the new upgraded controllers they're getting in. But uh, I got what I got, so you guys are going to get the new version, but it's fine. So, alright. There it is, guys. It kind of reminds me of an Xbox controller looking at it. You know, uh, first impressions. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it slides out, and it's got retractors in it. It's not me sliding. You see, it wants to retract on its own. Um, this will be interesting, because I know I advised in one of my other videos I want to attach a monitor to this, which I will show once I do it. Um, it's got an Android and um, Apple button here. So it looks like they, they have it set up for that. Other than that, it, man, it feels pretty good in my hands. So um, my guess is the USB plug's in there. I'm going to have to figure out how to plug in everything else. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, though. It doesn't... Not bad. It, I can see it, it could be comfortable. Um, for those of you used to playing video games, it uh, looks pretty simple. So, nice little controller. We're going to set that aside over here. I don't see anything else in there except for it looks like a cleaning cloth. So, all right. There's some protective padding in there. There she comes. There she is. That is it, guys. That is the Gladys. That slides right off. With the buoy, we're gonna pull it all out. I'm gonna try to. Again, it's, guys, it's been sitting there for a while in shipping, so I don't... Well, you heard that like I did. That was an interesting sound. All right. So, there's the buoy. What's up, Dodger? There's a buoy with a tether. Um, man, this thing's actually got a lot of weight to it. I was very surprised. Um, yeah, nice tether, advanced. Um, I'm, here's on the length, though, to notice that they got the right one. I'll, I'll fly check it later on. It is. This is a bulky, bulky unit, guys. Nice little LEDs. You saw it light up there. Okay, it does have the fresh water. There's the, uh, we were talking about there, the, the module for the fresh water. So it is set for fresh water where I work. Um, Propulsion-wise in the back, yeah, a couple plastic props. Looks like it's got some nuts here to take them off easy access. I'll be curious when they make the uh, make the props available for purchase. Um, got some weight to it, as you can tell. Um, nice little ring around here. I understand there's concerns about adding some filters to that. I'll be very curious to see if they look like as well when they get them. But guys, that that is it. I don't see anything else in the box. I see a great unit. It sounds like it's already making some noise. I can't wait to start it myself. Oh yeah. All I did was just push a button there on the buoy. And um, you are seeing the lights yourselves, guys. So, yeah, we know what that means. That means it's time to go have some fun. So, well, guys, thank you for tuning in. That is the Gladys Submersible Drone. Um, that is my unboxing video. It is not edited, as you can tell, because I don't know what's in it. And it's not true unboxing if you know what's in it. So, um, really, really looking forward to getting this out there. I'll be putting some videos up here soon. I've got a couple caves I've been talking to lately. Um, I'm going to try to get some underwater footage at a cave. I saw somebody post that on the page recently, too. That looks exciting. Um, my, my biggest project right now, I've got the Ultra monitor and the Advanced monitor. I'm going to try and mount those to this. I'm going to let you guys know how I do it once I get it. So, but that's it, guys. Awesome looking product. I can't wait to get it out there. So, thanks for tuning in.